Hello everybody, it's me, Andy Housen from the Joy Foundation. It's it's really good to see you again. Um, I hope you're all right. I hope your family's safe and well. Do you know what? It was my birthday on Saturday. <laughs> it was the weirdest birthday that I've ever had in my whole life. And I've had, I've had lots of birthdays. Um, have a guess. How many birthdays do you think I've had? How old do you think I am? Hmm? What do you think? I'll give you a clue. I'm not as old as my wife. I'll leave you to think about that. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you at the end how old I am. Um, I've got something to show you. Um, it's a sort of present. Um, and this might help us a little bit. I'll unwrap it, shall I? Um, you might be able to see that it's got birthday wrapping paper on. <laughs> it seems quite right for me to so I just have my birthday so I can open it. Um, birthday wrapping paper. Uh, so that's jolly, isn't it? That's happy. But sometimes we feel happy, don't we? Sometimes we feel really good about things. And the wrapping paper, the birthday wrapping paper reminds us that we feel like that. Oh, brown paper, brown paper now. That's just ordinary, isn't it? Brown paper. Nothing special about brown paper. It's just normal. I suppose sometimes we feel like that. Maybe most of the time we just feel like that. We feel just hmm? normal. We don't feel different. We don't feel really excited. We don't feel really sad. We just feel okay and normal. Let me take this one off. I think there's something else. Ah, yeah. Oh, tissue paper. It's not very strong, is it? Tissue paper. Look, 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 look. Easily get that one off. The tissue paper. Sometimes we feel like that as well, don't we? Sometimes we don't feel very strong. We feel a bit weak, a bit tired. Maybe you're feeling like that. Inside is the, well, it's wrapped in newspaper this time. Well, I'll tell you what, the thing about newspaper is this, that sometimes people just throw away newspaper as though it's not worth very much. And sometimes we can feel like that as well. We can feel like, well, we're not all that important. People don't want us, not interested in us. Sometimes, actually, we do feel like that. I feel like that now and again. Let me take this one off. All right. Underneath is a shiny, shiny paper. It's silver foil. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> bright and shiny. Sometimes we feel really on top of the world. We feel bright and shiny. Yeah, oh, bah, bah, oh, bah, bah, bah. yeah, we can do loads of things. Loads of energy. Sometimes we do feel like that. Let me take this one off. I think I've got to the middle. And I know in the middle is something very precious. Here it is. It's a cross. This cross was given to me by the Bishop of Lincoln a number of years ago. And the cross being in the middle of all those different wrappings reminds me of something. It reminds me of this, that no matter how I am feeling, I am precious. This was right in the middle. The other feelings were wrapped around. No matter how I am feeling, I am precious. Whether I feel excited, whether I feel a bit useless, whether I feel a bit weak, whether I feel just ordinary, or whether I feel happy, the Bible tells me that I am precious to God. I know that. Do you know, do you know how I think I know that? Because in the Bible, it shows me this. It shows me that Jesus 
was with people when they were celebrating, when they were happy. The first miracle in the Bible, the first thing that we see Jesus doing as a miracle, he was at a wedding, celebrating a wedding. So Jesus was with people celebrating. What was the next one? Um, brown paper, wasn't it? Um, ordinary and... Jesus spent a lot of time just with the ordinary people of his time. He showed them that he cared and that actually they were far more than just being ordinary. Oh, the, the weak one, um, tissue paper. Well, we know, don't we? We know that Jesus helped lots and lots of people that were feeling ill, that were feeling poorly, that were feeling weak, that were feeling tired, that were not very strong. He was with all of those people. The newspaper, those ones that were feeling a bit rubbish, they were feeling as though no one cared. He, Jesus really cared about those people. He really loved them and he made them feel precious. <laughs> the, the happy paper, the shiny paper, he was with those people as well. He made everybody know that God loved them. He made everybody know that they were very, very precious. It's as if God is holding us in his hands and saying to us, no matter how you feel, whatever you're feeling today, I love you. You are very, very precious. I'd like to finish with a prayer again. Here's my prayer. The words will come at the bottom of the screen. Say them with me if you like to. The prayer goes like this. Dear God, thank you that each one of us is very precious, however we are feeling. Please help other people that we know to know that they are precious as well. Amen. Well, that's, oh, how old I am. <laughs> how old, I was going to tell you how old I was. Well, I am this age. Jasper, J Jasper, stop messing, mess oh, sorry, Jasper's messing about. But Jasper, stop messing, sorry, sorry, I've got to go. Everybody, got to go, got to sort Jasper out. Thanks, everybody. Take care, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>